Yo guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an awesome team and today I am super excited to be bringing this video to you guys because it is going to be a player moments Felipe Coutinho review. So I absolutely love Coutinho in real life. He's one of my favorite players ever. So when I saw this card from Future Stars swaps, I did not hesitate to go ahead and get him because genuinely I don't care how bad people say the card is, it's Coutinho, I'm going to enjoy it nonetheless. So I've gone ahead and done him, I put him in the team, heading into the player bio, he's 5 foot 8 tall, high medium work rates, a right footed primarily, with the 5 star skills and a 4 star weak foot, and it does cost 10 Future Stars swap tokens. So genuinely I don't see myself getting any other options from Future Stars besides this Coutinho, this was the one that stood out for me, so I went ahead and got it. He can start at left wing, centre mid, cam, he got the Aston Villa links, so I've gone with Dendonka for that. Premier League links, there's enough Premier League players in the team. And I've used a Brazilian link from Casemiro. Heading into the player details, I've gone with the Hunter Kem, so it's pretty obvious why. Acceleration is more than great enough. Sprint speed, though, does need that boost, and he takes it up to 83, getting the plus 8 from the Hunter. Acceleration flies up, though, to 95. Shooting on the card looks very, very solid. 90 attack positioning with 89 finishing, 92 shot power, coupled with 93 long shots looks insane he's also got 99 volleys and 83 penalties passing looks sensational 92 freaky accuracy 88 vision with 86 short pass and 97 curve but still no finesse shot trace dribbling the best part of the card 94 agility 95 balance 92 ball control and dribbling with 83 reactions and 82 composure defending on the card is more than decent enough to play at center mid and physical well physical is never continue your strong point but he does have 86 stamina so I'm hoping he can last the full 90. You guys have a look at the traits, no finesse shot traits still somehow, but he does have the flare traits and the outside full shot traits. So I'm going to play this card at center mid, cam, striker and left forward. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 88 rated play moments for Lipe Coutinho and straight off the bat you can see the dribbling on this card is ridiculous. Unfortunately this goal isn't going to count because it is offside but great dribbling there. One two Gerard gets the ball back and like I said unfortunately it doesn't count because he is offside. But this goal however is going to count. Casemiro finds Dirk Kaut. Kaut gets him to Salah. Back to Kaut. Back to Coutinho. Great turn and a very tidy finish. Great goal from Felipe Coutinho and we do end up scoring the first goal of this video. Number 19 on the sky looks absolutely terrible. I've got to go ahead and change that before heading into the next game. But still in the same game here, Coutinho gets away from his man. That's great dribbling. Gets away from, I think that's Maldini if I'm not mistaken. Gets into the box, goes for goal and scores. Great finish from Di Natale, but great dribbling and a great pass from Coutinho and Di Natale is in behind and does not miss. Here a similar situation, he gets past his man, moves the ball up for Origi who is in behind and scores. Great finish but good dribbling again from Coutinho, getting past Maldini, sending it in behind and Divo Origi does end up scoring. On to the next match, Salah gets it into Di Natale, this is a chance, can he get past Bremer? Yes he can, into Coutinho, takes a touch and just places it into the back of the net. Simple enough finish for Coutinho but a pretty good finish nonetheless especially considering that the finishing on this card is pretty low so that boost from the Hunter Kemp style does definitely make a pretty big difference. Heading on to the next clip, Di Natale has it. I see Coutinho ahead of him, Salah is ahead of him as well. Gets it into Coutinho, brilliant skill, absolutely ridiculous skill from Felipe Coutinho just to get past Bremer. A roulette into the gap and the finish is spectacular. Easy enough but Great goal nonetheless and we do end up scoring a second goal in this game with Coutinho. Here he drops deep, brilliant skill to get past Valverde, gets the pass into Di Natale, gives it back into Coutinho. Can we just showcase the dribbling here, maybe create a chance, it's great dribbling once more, get past the man, good strength, that is never a penalty but good work before that though just to get into the box in the first place. Here this guy tries to go forward, Coutinho comes in with a very good tackle. Didn't register the pass when I made it, but he comes in with another good interception, just showing the defensive capabilities on this card. That is with him at centre mid, by the way. So you guys just know that he can drop deep, win the ball back, and he can also do this. Get past one, two, three, and four. Brilliant from Coutinho. I'm going to go for the power shot, and he smashes it into the back of the net. What a hit from Coutinho. Went for the low driven, and he tucks it away. Great goal from Felipe Coutinho. He is going to have a better look at it here. Outside the box, outside that semi-circle. I remember he did score a similar goal to this for Liverpool actually in his, I think his debut season for us. 
and genuinely rolling back the years with that one. Great goal from Coutinho. And heading on to the next game in the Barcelona kiss, Coutinho gets past his man. A lovely pass. Absolutely beautiful pass in behind. And the finish matches. Great goal. Great finish. Beautiful chip over the top from Coutinho. And great chip from Di Natale over the goalkeeper and you do end up scoring. In this clip just showcasing that Coutinho from the cam position does also make those aggressive runs in behind the striker as he does here. Gets beyond the goalkeeper and basically tucks it away into the empty net. Great goal from Felipe Coutinho. Good running from him. Good speed as well from him as you guys saw there just to get into the box in the first place. And here again just steps on the gas, gets into the box, takes a touch and places it into the top corner. Great finish. Fantastic goal, good awareness from him, just to know that the space is there in the box. So once Di Natale gets that ball, he's running in behind immediately and he does end up scoring. Here, this pass is absolutely ridiculous. Outside of the boot, across the pitch, Salah knocks it down for Di Natale, who unfortunately took a slightly heavy touch and we do end up losing possession. But here, Coutinho gets past his man, moves around to Mo Salah. Salah gets it back into Coutinho, who skips it and then gets it behind after the Di Natale makes that pass and he tucks it away once more. Fantastic finish, calm, cool and composed. Great goal and the celebration with the Liverpool shirt again rolling back the years. Number 10 and doing that celebration was his teammates. Here Coutinho has it again. It's not a proper Coutinho video if there's no finesse shot. It is just not a Coutinho video without a finesse shot. Great goal from Coutinho. Honestly, just how you remember him. Cutting inside, goes for the finesse shot. And he scores great dribbling in to create that pocket of space. And he just floats it into the top corner. Great goal from Coutinho. Here Cole gets it into Dendonka. Dendonka finds Coutinho. Ridiculous touch to get past his man. And on that left foot, he smashes it into the back of the net. Fantastic goal yet again from Coutinho. Great skill to get past his man. And the finish to match. Great goal from Coutinho. And here to win us this game. That was a hat-trick by the way. That goal with Coutinho. And this to get four. And to win us this game in the 87th minute. And he does win us this game in the 87th minute. Great finish from Coutinho once more. I know I've said great finish a lot of times in this video. And genuinely, that's the best way to describe the finishes on this guy. Every shot he takes in the box does find the back of the net, which I was very, very surprised by. But with that being said, it is time to review the card. And as you guys can see, in four games, he's managed 10 goals and 3 assists. So... Clearly, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that the finishing is very good because he's managed 10 goals in 4 games. He's got 13 goal contributions in 4 games. That's more than 3 goal contributions a game. That is honestly absolutely ridiculous. And he did play at centre mid for one of those games as well. So genuinely, that goal return from Coutinho is sensational. Now, heading into the attribute details on the card, when it comes down to the pace, with the Hunter Kemp style, I genuinely see no issues with it. Honestly, there's no issues with it. This guy is very very fast on and off the ball he makes the runs in behind sometimes when he's making the runs in behind he does get caught by the fullback you will have to slow down as you guys saw for the one goal if it's a faster player i'm 100 percent taking the ball and sprinting through but it's coutinho he doesn't have the sprint speed to do so so i just decided let's hang back a little bit and we did end up scoring a finesse shot of dreams so genuinely the pace in the card is not too bad at all he does have the sprint speed to run in behind but does he have the sprint speed to run it behind like from the halfway line, for example? No, he doesn't. The acceleration does definitely carry a huge part of the pace on this card, but the pace all in all is genuinely pretty solid. So I'm going to give him an 8.4 out of 10 for pace. Shooting on the card is very good. The finishing is solid. He tucks away everything left foot, right foot. He doesn't care. He will score. The long shots, it's Coutinho. You know he's going to be good at long shots. And he is. So shooting is genuinely sensational. 8.8 .8 out of 10. I was very surprised by it. And genuinely, this guy's finishing was spectacular. So, passing on the card is even better than the shooting. And that is without a boost. You guys saw the long passing, the through balls, the short passing, the tiki taka play. He can do it also. Passing does, in my opinion, get a 9 out of 10. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get to take a free kick with this guy. Didn't really get any fouls. But genuinely, passing on the card is sensational. So, like I said, 9 out of 10. And the dribbling. Dribbling is absolutely sensational. It's Coutinho, 5-star skills. He's moves like an absolute i don't even know the word to describe it but this guy's dribbling is so smooth one of the best dribbling i've used this game you guys saw him dribbling keeps the ball extremely close to his body weaves beyond defenders with ease and then 
basically he puts them onto the floor and he can use that dribbling just to create an extra pocket of space for him to take a snapshot or make that pass and he will score from making that, that pocket of space. So genuinely the dribbling is a huge part of the card. It is a great part of the card. So dribbling in my opinion does get a 9.5 out of 10. Defending is solid. He can play sentiment. Interceptions are decent and the stand tackling is also pretty decent. So defending does get a 6 out of 10. Physical again nothing special but it's solid enough. I mean he does last the full 90 minutes. He's obviously not going to be your strong type of player. So Genuinely, I think the physical, again, 6.5 out of 10, I think it is better than the defending. So I think a 6.5 is the way to go. Now, is this card worth it? Do I think you should go ahead and try to get this card from the Icon Swaps? Well, sorry, from the Future Star Swaps? Yes, I do. 100%. If you like Coutinho, go ahead and get this card. He's genuinely a very good player. I know a lot of people might think he's outdated, but... You're a Liverpool fan, you love Coutinho, and just if you need that technical player in, in midfield, I know Martin Odegaard is very similar, that the player of the month, the SBC, it is a very similar card to this Coutinho card, except this Coutinho card does have a four-star weak foot. So genuinely, the Martin Odegaard is very similar. If you guys, if I have to compare him to, to somebody that you guys have to know about or have possibly used, because that Odegaard SBC was pretty cheap, I do think he is similar to Martin Odegaard. So I genuinely do think that this card is 100% worth the 10 swap tokens. If you don't take him, do I think you'll be missing out? Yeah, 100%. This guy's a very fun card, a very good card. I do think that you guys will miss out if you don't take this card from swaps. So yeah, best camp style, definitely the Hunter camp style. Best position, this is an interesting one. So you could play this card at sentiment, but not as a stay back type of sentiment. you got to have two other sentiments in that midfield or a sentiment and a CDM to drop back and cover for him when he does go forward. So genuinely sentiment is a very viable option, but I do think the best position for this card is definitely that count position. So with that being said, I do bring it into the video. If you like this, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.